Today I'm going to show you how you can eat your favorite carbs like pasta and pizza and still lose the fat around your belly because I'm willing to bet that you've been told carbs are bad for you and they're the reason that you're not losing weight but that's complete bull I've been a nutritionist and a personal trainer for over five years and in that time I've helped well over a hundred men and women just like you lose weight without having to cut out carbs. In fact, I'm normally the one encouraging them to eat more of them. Carbs are often seen as the enemy when it comes to weight loss and losing fat but if that was the case how is it that Japan, a country that lives on rice, has one of the lowest obesity ratings in the world at just 5%, while the United States is one of the highest at 43%. You see, carbs aren't the enemy. In fact, they're our body's preferred source of fuel. But the problem with carbs is that once we start eating them, we can't stop. You know what it's like. You open that packet of chips or cookies with the intention of having one, but 20 minutes later, you've devoured the whole thing. It's just like social media, right? You've got five minutes spare or you're bored. So you open Instagram or TikTok, but then the next time you look up, two hours have passed. Social media and carbs do the same thing to our brains. They stimulate the reward system. They trigger the release of our feel-good hormone called dopamine, which encourages us to keep going. So how do we stop this? Well, today I wanna to introduce you to something called carb cycling. I'm gonna cover what it is, how it works, and how you can implement it so that you can hit your goals faster while still enjoying your favorite carby foods. Right off the bat, I'll say that carb cycling doesn't involve actual cycling. Don't worry, you don't need to be proficient on a bike to do this. It's actually a really simple dietary strategy where you alternate between high carb days and low carb days. The idea is to consume more carbs on certain days, the days when you tend to be more active or are doing intense workouts, and then fewer carbs on other days, like rest or recovery days. But why do this? Well, carb cycling can actually help you burn fat more efficiently whilst maintaining your energy levels and muscle mass. It's a great way to fuel your body for workouts without feeling deprived. And there's loads of other potential benefits to carb cycling. Faster fat loss, better muscle maintenance, improved insulin sensitivity, and even an optimized metabolism. But how does it all work? So when you consume carbohydrates, your body breaks it down into a simple sugar called glucose and your body then uses that glucose for energy. So that means on high carb days, you're fueling your muscles with the energy that they need for intense exercise, helping you to perform better and recover faster. But then this is the secret sauce because on low carb days, your body is gonna be forced to tap into its fat stores for energy. It's like having the best of both worlds. Enough carbs to fuel your workouts and enough low carb days to promote fat burning. And it also helps prevent the metabolic slowdown that occurs in people who are doing continuous low carb diets day in, day out. All right, so how do you actually implement carb cycling? Well, the good news is it's simpler than you probably think. There are several ways that you can structure your carb cycling plan. The most common of which is just to alternate between high carb days and low carb days. But the key is to tailor it to your goals and your activity level. If you're a very active person and you've got aggressive goals, you're gonna to wanna to have more high carb days than someone who's a little bit more relaxed about it. And like I said earlier, you're gonna to wanna to structure your high carb days around the days where you're most active. Either way you're doing intense exercise or you just know you're gonna be a little bit more stressed. So you might have two high carb days in a row where you're doing intense exercise, followed by two or three low carb days when you're resting or doing lighter exercise. It really is up to you. But I think the whole point of this video is that you don't have to eliminate carbohydrates completely. In fact, that's a terrible idea. Now let's talk about meal plan. On the high carb days, you're gonna to wanna to focus on getting plenty of whole grains, fruit, vegetables, and of course, lean proteins. Think of meals like grilled chicken with quinoa and veggies. Or for breakfast, maybe oatmeal with berries and nuts. To be clear, I'm not saying you have to have those, they're just a couple of examples for you. And then on those low carb days, you're gonna to wanna to reduce the starchy carbs and focus much more on your protein, healthy fats, and fibrous veg. So off the top of my head, meals that could work well on low carb days could be salmon salad with avocado or a veggie stir fry. But remember, carb cycling is not one size fits all. You really wanna make sure that you're adjusting the frequency of your high carb and low carb days based on your goals, how your body responds to all this, and how active you are. Okay, now that we've covered the basics, here's some practical tips to get you started. Here's a sample carb cycling schedule. Monday and Thursday could be high carb days when you do intense strength training. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday might be low carb days. And Saturday could be a medium carb day with moderate exercise. And then finally, Sunday could be a low carb day with active rest, like going for a nice walk or even doing some yoga. As with everything in this video, this is just a template. These are just examples. You don't have to do it exactly this way. I'm just opening your eyes and opening the way 
to show you that you don't need to cut out carbs and that they're not the enemy here. When you first start carb cycling, ease into it. You wanna begin by just having one or two high carb days and then adjusting depending on how your body responds to it. If you feel sluggish or tired, you might wanna increase your carbs a little bit on the low carb days. Don't go too extreme with this. I'm not saying on the low carb days to have no carbs. And another really important point is to always keep the quality of the carbs that you're having in mind. I think these days the message around calories in, calories out, calorie deficit has been somewhat watered down and everybody is hyper fixated on the number of calories that they eat and not putting enough focus into the quality of the calories that they eat. But the older I get and the more experienced I become as a coach, the more I've realized that they're pretty much equally important. And trust me, 100 grams of carbs coming from whole grain rice or pasta is very different to 100 grams of carbs coming from McDonald's. Low quality carbs, like those found in processed food and junk food, is gonna wreak havoc on your endocrine system, which is your hormones, and your gut health. They're gonna give you brain fog. They're gonna make you feel lethargic. They're gonna reduce your drive, but worst of all, and not even gonna fill you up. And last but certainly not least, just remember that carb cycling can be a very powerful tool if you use it correctly. But if your goal is to lose weight and burn body fat, it needs to fit within your calorie deficit. The quality of your calories is very important, but so is the quantity. Because you can have as many high carb days and as many low carb days as you want, but if you're not in a calorie deficit where you're eating and drinking less than you're burning, you're not gonna lose any weight. And if you wanna help calculate what your calorie target should be, you can click the first link in the description that is underneath this video, and I'll send you personalized nutrition targets for free. All you have to do is tell me some basic information like your age, weight, height, and I'll do the rest. You'll get a fat loss target so that you know exactly how much you should be eating, and all I ask in return is your email address so that I can actually send you your target. So to sum up, carb cycling is a flexible and effective strategy for fat loss whilst allowing you to enjoy your favorite carby foods. By alternating between low and high carb days, you can optimize your metabolism, maintain muscle mass, and accelerate your fat loss journey. But the biggest benefit is that you're not gonna feel like you're restricting yourself. And that's so important because it's gonna make your diet feel so much easier. Because remember, the goal isn't to be on a diet, it's to be building a healthier lifestyle. And if you're interested in trying carb cycling, remember, start with a simple plan and then make small adjustments over time as you need to. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did so that you don't miss the next one. And I'll see you soon.